and I'm going to create a polygon plane. Okay, a very simple plane, and on this plane, I'm going to go to the channel box and I'm going to make it one and one subdivision. That way, this is a single polygon. I'm going to rotate it up 90 degrees. Okay, great. Now, this is kind of as simple as it gets. Okay, this is a single plane. And what I want to do is I'm going to create a brick wall and then I'm going to add some things that really illustrate some points clearly. So to do this, I'm going to right click, assign a new material, and I'm going to choose blend, okay, because I'm going to want parts of it to be shiny and, and you'll see why in a little bit. And on the blend here, I'm going to call this brick wall, brick underscore material. And now I'm going to add that to color. Okay, because I've got a picture of a brick wall. So if I click on the checker box next to color, go to file. And then if I come here, I'm going to go find, um, let me see. In the source images, I have something called brick color. And I'll click open. I'll press six in my viewport. And now you can see that I have this photograph of bricks. However, upon kind of closer inspection, it looks, yes, it does, it is photoreal. However, when I look at it, it feels like a sticker, like a flat sticker. There's no depth to it. Um, so what I want to do is I want to create some realistic depth to this, okay? Um, without really modeling anything, I want to give the illusion that these bricks are sticking out. So what I'm going to do, uh, you can see in Photoshop, I have the bricks right here. And eventually we're gonna add some graffiti to this, okay, but I'm gonna hold off of that on that for now. And for this, this is the color information of my bricks right now. And I'll maybe save this, I'll go to save as, and I'm gonna call this uh, brick underscore color and save it as a JPEG. And you can see that if I go to my desktop and if I go to, um, source images, uh, that's where I saved it, bricks color, right there. Okay, so great, I have that one. Now I'm gonna go into image, and well, maybe I'll duplicate this just in case I want to, okay. And I'm gonna call this the bump, bump map, okay. And the rule for the bump map is anything that we want sticking out is gonna be white, anything that we don't is gonna be black, okay. So I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna go adjustments, Brightness contrast. I'm going to bump this brightness up, maybe to adjust this contrast. And the goal is I want the bricks to be um, different. I want the bricks to be a solid, like black, and the, this to be white for now. So maybe I'll go to my levels. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, that's looking good. Maybe grab this. Image adjustment, maybe brightness contrast again. Ah, there we go. Image adjustment, brightness contrast. Okay, um, let's see. Now maybe I can go image adjustment. Um, invert okay there we go now i'm starting to get uh, that lines to be dark and i'm just going to keep doing this uh, maybe brightness contrast image adjustments um, maybe hue saturation i could go to colorize and now maybe i go See, see, I don't want that white in the bricks there, so that's why I'm kind of just, just kind of playing with it a little bit right now. Okay, let me see. 
Okay. Uh, image adjustments. If I go to black and white, let me try this now. Ah, there we go. That That's looking good. Okay, so it took a little bit of time to kind of uh, mess around with that, but eventually, eventually I kind of got the, um, the bricks to be white and the um, cement to be black. Okay, and I'm going to call that the bump map. So if I go file, save as, now on, I'm gonna go into my projects folder, the source images, save it as a JPEG, and I'm gonna call this bricks underscore bump. Now you can see that this looks like it's a completely flat plane. But if I go like this, if I right click, go to material attributes, you'll notice that the only thing that I put on this plane was color. Now you can see there's something called bump mapping. So if I go right here, go to file, and then I'm going to say use as a bump, and I want it where it says bump value right here. I'm going to click on this arrow, and then the folder, and then I'm going to go to bricks bump and click open. Okay. And just by doing that, you can start to see that I've, I, it looks like this, these bricks are kind of sticking up. In fact, I'm going to show you a trick here. What I can do is if I right click, go to material attributes. Here's the um, bump mapping. I'm right click. And if I go to this first one, bump 2D1 out normal, this bump depth, I can kind of play with that. And you can see that I can kind of change it. And I'm just going to give it a little bit. It doesn't really need much, right? But I feel like it's kind of this convincing depth. Okay, there we go. Now, if you look at it from the side, it, the, the illusion is broken. It only works really from the front. Um, and to see what's happening here, if I go right click, go to material attributes, I could take off the color. So if I right click and go to break connection, this is strictly solid gray and you can see that it looks like there's still depth to it. Okay, so that's kind of that cool thing. So when I move around the lighting, I can kind of see um, the specular highlights pick up. And then if I want to put that color back on, I can come back here, file, and color. Okay, th that's cool. So I feel like um, in the next video, I'm gonna kind of show how to do uh, some more kind of cool tricks.